Good morning, plumbers. If you don't know, we do everyday plumbing. The good, the bad, and the ugly. And for today's plumbing adventure, we have a leak on a ProPress heat line. We're going to get the shots because I think it's not on all the way. This is why you got to mark your pipe and double check your press before you actually press. See you inside. Alright folks, you see the leak right there. It's leaking right on top of the pipe here. So, I believe it's not on all, all the way because it feels kind of it feels like a bad angle right here. So we gotta cut this and redo it. That's the plan. Put two couplings and a 90. And let's get it done. Matter of fact, yeah, two couplings and a 90. I might even do two 90s. Alright, right. drain the heat, turn the power off, all the fill is already off, which I don't know why. And Drain the lowest spot, people. And all you plumbers know this out there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Some plumbing 101 right there. Radiator key. A must have on a radiator system. We're gonna dump that bowl. We're gonna cut that. We're gonna cut both 90s out, okay? So cut it three inches up. Cut above that sticker there, you'll see it. And cut it three inches over towards me, okay? Roger. Some more father-son time today. In this Thanksgiving. Mm. This will be after Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. <laughs> have it with a, a screwdriver, we'll see if it's empty yet. Yeah. Should be empty. I open up the radiator both here. Yep. Alright, see that white sticker yeah. down there? Cut above that. Look at it from up here, it looks a little crooked, you know? Yeah. Just here. It, there's a 90 going down, it's not that much. Oh. I'm like going for it, just wave it over that right. Just stop? No. That's why I leaked. Okay? You got a rag on that? No. Put a rag on it. I don't have a rag. Put your hand over it down. Here. Here you go. Show her hand. That's right. Here, okay, it's, it's about empty. Just get this bowl and empty it and I'll put it back under it. You don't need a bowl. The bowl ain't gonna do shit. Alright. Alright. Still pouring out? No, it's done. Oh, it's done? Oh, all right, good. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I need sample. I found the I got a piece right in my my bag. Right there is why it's leaking. Not improperly. Not marked. You name it, we did it. Okay. Matter of fact, oh, it's loose. All right. So we're gonna redo this and uh. Get it fixed up. Okay? Best helper ever. Refive it. We need a piece. Eight and three quarter. We'll do a little teamwork here. Eight and three quarter, boom. This is the carpenter pencil from uh, the movie theater job. 
I've had that for so long. That's because I had to use I used them on the pedestals. This thing's really tired. Let me get this thing serviced. Sandpaper, real quick. This is one. Oh, we got different style of nineties here. Hold on. I gotta do this right. Alright, so we gotta make this piece a little we gotta make a little adjustment here. Alright. Adjust your fire so you may adjust your fire. Spray this down with that. Uh, clean that. WD? Yeah. Okay. These pieces will be the same. So that was the nine. Hold on. Eight three quarter. sure these are all on this time, correct? Slip. No. Pop that 90 off on the right hand side. Or pop one of them. Yeah, pop one of them off. Yeah, put that one on first. Why is that so long? You got it backwards. That's the riser. And that's pretty damn close. And the center, right? Yeah. Give me eight and a half. And I'll show you what that is. I can see about that, but I can see it from overhead. So look, give me the 90. I'll keep it. Tape measure. Eight and a half, right, I said? Yeah. So we're going to go eight and a half from here. Put your noobs out there, apprentices. And this is definitely too long, and it's because of the 90, Chucky. That's why I did that. We got these long, the Nibco 90 is much longer sweep than a Viega, which I don't really care for. Sorry, Nibco, but 
shorten your shorten your radius and we'll be happy. All right, it wasn't that long. I'm gonna cut an inch off of this. We had this problem before. We should move the stove last time, you know. This piece is too short now. Do this top one, that, that, that doesn't matter. Do yeah. both, yeah, do both on the riser. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll be your eyeballs. Forget to shut the radiators. Okay. I hear it. I hear the pressure. So I'm gonna shut this off. And you know we all fill up from the first floor up, people. So we're gonna come back up here in a hot second. boys and girls everything's fixed properly installed starting to heat up you got to love when the heat pipes coming back hot perfect okay she's heating up folks Well, there you have it. A uh, little food bar on the Pro Press joint with combination of the tight spot. Maybe should have pulled the range out, but in the end, we got it done. And uh, blessing, mark your pipes, sand your pipes, press them squarely, and then that won't happen. Even though I know we didn't mark them again with such a tight spot, but we st we still should have marked them. But with that. 
we got it done. And there goes another satisfied customer. See you at the next one, folks. Have a great day.